this video has been long overdue. But today you will see if it was a good idea to go on vacation with none other than our parents. You heard it right. And for everyone who doesn't know, we have a German and French background. But to make it more exciting for everyone, we decided to go on holiday in Croatia. So be with us when we overcome language barriers, show you great activities, discover national parks and cities of this amazing country. We will soon meet our both parents. And this is the funny part. Now we are just in split. <laughs> and we are going to have a little coffee before heading towards Zadar. Oh yes. Mm. That's good. This hidden place will be our place for a week. Hello. <laughs> oh, Now with the arrival of Melanie's parents we are complete, so let's explore Sada City. A huge part of the city was destroyed during the World War. But you can still find many traces of history, the central square, the cathedral, or the many churches they have here. Chocolate ice cream from Zadar. Lego. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so we had a very uh, historical walk today, and then we go home, have a really relaxing time, and then go back to the more contemporary part of the city. Park of Telechisa, where is the salt lake? But before we go to the lake to swim, we have to go to the cliff. Have a look at the cliff. Well, it's a famous salt lake. Um, it's saltier than the Mediterranean Sea. We haven't tried it yet. I mean, Melan is inside. I will be in the water soon. So, three minutes before departure. <laughs> oh, that's the hill. Down there is the beach. First, people are already taking a splash, but our mission is to find a snake. Find a snake, <laughs> climb up the till, and then wash off our sweaty body in the water. After 
a splendid day in the nature, we went back home to take a rest because big things were ahead. Today we will say the, it's a national park. It's the second time already in here for us and for our parents. And we loved it so much that we said we really want to introduce our parents to it. It's definitely the highlight of our tour. We are following the sea route today because we need enough time to take some pictures, some videos. There are other ones, of course, longer, but um, if you want to enjoy it a little bit, then it's better to go for something shorter. They told us that Tuesday it's the day to go, or maybe even a Monday, but despite the fact, you will always find a spot but there's nobody. It's just you and Mother Earth. Of course, there are other spots where you will find hundreds of people all chasing for the same picture of a waterfall, but yeah, just take your time, walk a little bit off the beaten track, and you'll be fine. Klipice National Park is a must visit, and the 90 minutes ride back to Sadar is perfect to take a rest from an all-day hike. This is our ferry to Preko. It's a village on the island Ugljan. It's a half an hour ride, but we haven't bought the tickets yet and you can't buy them on the boat. So Melanie is now running to the vending machine. Then we have five minutes left and then it's a departure. <laughs> Aglen or Ugljan, how the locals say, is the closest island from Sadar and we were really surprised by the beauty of this island. We only visited the harbour city shortly because we were still hungry for more nature and we were not disappointed by the amount of insects and flowers and wild berries. It has so much to offer. Just make sure to bring a lot of water and some snacks because there won't be anything near. As for some further activities, we introduced my parents to the Stone Age version, I would say, of Pitang, a game that's been played all over France, though it often goes along with some Arnis liquor. We took the ferry back to Sadar and really the city is never getting boring. This time there was the fresh fruits and veggie market where we could buy a lot of stuff for dinner and then we also tried of course the famous pastry, the strudel. The weather was cold, but then warm. Now we're going home to get our dry clothes. And then we head back to our parents that are still waiting for us. <laughs> and then we will go for the surprise. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we really enjoyed the cultural exchange. Of course, there were some language barriers. My father, for example, he doesn't speak French or English at all. My mom, she speaks quite a good English, I have to say. But we know how to dance, we know how to sing, and we know how to Google Translate. So, no problem for us. It's a bit raining. Yeah, but in Dutch, it's quite early. 
and uh, we are heading towards the bus stop to catch our bus to Nin. And Nin is famous for what? Smallest cathedral in the world. Okay. Let's see if it's true. <laughs> Let's see if it's true. Let's see. We can't compare to anything else. <laughs> If you just find yourself starving in the middle of the night and there's only the 7-Eleven open, go for the King Ice Cream. They have the King Majestic, King Obsesh, King Breeze, King Ruby, King Double, King Classic, 30% Manchester Serra. But which one is the best, Cherie? Peanut Perfection! So here we are. Welcome to Nin. It is just a quick bus ride away from Sadar and you will be really delighted to walk in a town with over 3000 years of history. It's not very big, so a day should be enough to explore the town itself. We stopped at the church of St. Anselm, which is actually one of the first Croatian cathedrals, before we continued our way to another historical highlight. The Holy Cross Church. This is the only religious object in Nin that has remained untouched and it's known to be the smallest cathedral in the world since its interior measures less than 10 meters in each dimension. Not far from the city center is the Nin Lagoon and just when we arrived the sun came out to welcome us. A 20 minutes walk from there and you will discover an extraordinary place to relax and clear your mind of all the previous impressions. We took the bus back to our holiday house and enjoyed the rest of the day together. The day after was filled with farewells and we parted ways to head back home in different locations. So let's draw a line under this. We have no regret whatsoever about our holiday together. Super. 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 Croatia did again not disappoint and we found the perfect balance between exploration and relaxation, just as holidays should be. If you enjoyed the video give it a like and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our channel so you won't miss out on any future episodes. Thanks for watching, see you soon.